All right, it is time for the Tiny Toons Luniversity Review. There's only 10 episodes in the first season of Tiny Toons Luniversity. Now, what do I think overall? Um, well, I guess we can kind of start to get into some of the episodes. Um, so it kind of starts off, um, everybody's new, which threw me off at first because I was like, oh, I thought this was a sequel where everyone's now in college. Not exactly. It's technically, this is technically a reboot. So as a lot of people mentioned, right, um, Babs and Buster are no longer, uh, well, they're no longer considered, maybe they're romantically involved, maybe they're more than friends, maybe they're, no, they're siblings in this. They are siblings, they are related, right? So I kind of can't really do anything with them there, but uh, so that's a big change. A um, couple of the new characters are, are, are new and different. Um, enjoyable, um, but, you know, different nonetheless. Um, overall, I think a lot of the episodes are funny. Like, I, I'm not going to lie, I watched, I watched the show and I was, having, I was enjoying myself. I was having a good time. Comedy is good. Um, I don't think it's as wacky as they used to be back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I think it was a bit wackier. But at the same time, you also have to understand that it was a different world back then, right? They were able to get away with a lot more than they're able to get away with now. So it's a different world. Um, but all that considered, um, I had a good time with it. Uh, I think that there's some changes to characters that uh, I was shocked by. The Looney Tunes, the regular Looney Tunes, are a lot more involved in this show than they were in the original. Um, like, like, so, so basically, they're going to the college. They're going to this Looniversity to basically become Looney Tunes themselves, right? But they have to go to the the Looniversity school to learn the the trade, learn the skills. But the people there, right, are the Looney Tunes. So you've got Bugs, you've got Granny, you've got Daffy. And sometimes they'll come in and they'll teach some of the classes, right? Which is a cool idea because you're like, oh, you know, uh, one of the guest teachers is Bugs. Oh, I bet you, you know, Buster could get a lot more from him. So, like, that, that's cool. But I will say it is a bit weird because it's like Daffy or um, Daffy Bugs. Like, why are you guys teaching here at the school and why are you guys like working here uh, aren't you aren't you guys like filming like in in this world theoretically aren't you guys like stars and you guys should be like working and filming at the Warner Brothers studio a lot which they do go to sometimes in the show uh but they're not they're guest teaching and it's hinted at that they work there like Lola Bunny is the chef or whatever at one of the restaurants on campus which is weird it's like and she's not only a chef but she's also like this cool skateboard girl dude lola bunny is like a character that warner brothers is always like so stressed out about lola bunny they're like what are we gonna do with her uh, because old Lola from Space Jam, nobody likes, and we can't do that because that's over overly, you know, going in the wrong direction. Uh, but then you have something like Looney Tunes show where they did a not just like they they didn't just tweak and change the character. That's a complete one eighty. Like the the Lola from Looney Tunes show and the Lola from Space Jam, you. Could you even consider them the same character? Like, they're vastly different, right? Um, so, that being said, uh, I, I do think it's a bit weird that she's she's working at the restaurant on campus and, and she's a skateboarder and she's really a really chill, cool person. Like, it's... Got, when, are, when is Warner Brothers going to sit down? Like, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny in like every show, in every medium, he's Bugs Bunny. And Daffy Duck in every show, in every medium, 
He's Daffy Duck. Why is Lola Bunny like the one Looney Tune where Warner Brothers is like, what are we going to do? What are, what are we going to do? We have no idea what we're going to do. It's crazy to me. It is a little crazy to me. You'd think that they'd have that figured out by now. Looney Tunes is one of the biggest properties like in cartoons and animation, period. Right? Let alone probably the biggest property Warner Brothers has ever had their hands on. And you guys can't figure out what you're going to do with one of the characters. With all your guys that you have in business suits whose job it is to figure out what you're doing with these characters, you guys are still like, I don't know. We're just going to, we'll, we'll wing it. We'll we'll get up to bat and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the, you know, when the time comes. Which is a little lazy. Uh, and I wish that they would do something different and, and just try to figure out what you're going to do with one of your characters. But, um... Her portrayal overall in the show was fine. I didn't have an issue with it. Um, I actually kind of enjoyed a lot of it, right? Even though it sounded like I was kind of talking mess, I, I wasn't. I'm really just kind of frustrated. It, it, it's just the direction of where Warner Brothers wants to go with things is just never clear. And they're always just kind of... Every project that Warner Brothers comes out with, it's always just kind of like last minute everything. Like there's no preparation. It's It's annoying. I've been doing this for too long, almost. Um, what else about the show? Uh, I liked the dynamic between um, Buster and uh, oh my gosh, what's what's the uh, I'm drawing a blank. Ah, oh, this is killing me. Hold on. What is the duck? Um, hold on, hold on. Who is the duck? Who is the duck? Wow. What? I pick, Did I just pick the one episode that the duck is not in? And I keep calling him the duck, and I hate calling him that, because I know his name. I do know his name. I just don't know why. Um, Plucky. That took way too long, and I apologize. Plucky. I like the dynamic. I think what they did with Plucky was good. They they kind of turned him into like a... He's full of himself. Uh, they, they made him like an actor. An actor who's full of himself. And he's an actor that's full of himself that isn't necessarily really good at what he does anyway. Right? Um, he just kind of... He's just not great. He's just a very overconfident person. He take, tries to t always be the star of the show. He's always trying to take over. Always trying to... When in reality, he's not great at what he does. Like, like there's a Pizza Party episode where uh, Buster and Plucky um, become best friends um, for the first time in the entire show. Uh, because they, they kind of have like a rivalry. Um, only for, you know, Plucky, of course, to feel like he's getting overshadowed and then try to start challenging Buster to a whole bunch of stuff. And then, of course, their friendship gets ruined again. So Plucky's ego uh, is like a big part of his character. Um, so that's... So I, I will say a lot of the show... A lot of the, the formula... The formula of the show kind of started to get old, like maybe halfway through again i'm not saying that the show is like oh it's boring they're doing the same things all over uh, that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is like plucky's thing is that he's got a big ego and his ego gets in the way of everybody and and uh the the, the porky pig kid his thing is that he stutters a lot and he's very nervous and that you know he's good at helping his friends behind the scenes but when it's you know when the spotlight's on him he freaks out and he doesn't know what to do and he has to get over it and there's so many episodes that target these things often that each episode starts to kind of feel similar so, and 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 by by that i'm saying they're not similar right they they all have different plots all the things going on in the episode are different but because a lot of the character traits and personalities rely on these quirks the episodes kind of bleed together a little bit in the sense of oh this problem is caused because of plucky's big head or oh this problem happened because uh the porky pig character is too nervous again 
Um, or this problem happened because Buster got too eager and jumped the gun and went into something that he was too unprepared for, which is something he does also a lot of times throughout the show. So it is, I, w- I will say that as enjoyable as the show is, its formula became very formulaic very quickly. Um, so I will say that when it comes to like sitting down and I'm going to marathon through the show, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think that Tiny Toons Luniversity is going to be a cartoon for you to sit down and marathon through. However, I think that Tiny Toons Luniversity is perhaps a perfect show to be on syndication, like on Cartoon Network. Because I think, because again, of because of my complaints of it being maybe a bit too formulaic, and about a lot, maybe the episodes kind of blend together. With it being on syndication, like on Cartoon Network, and it just kind of comes on, maybe like you know once a day or once, you know, or twice once or twice a day at different time slots, and different people are kind of catching one episode a day or two episodes a day or what have you. I think that that's a way better way to digest Tiny Toons Luniversity than a marathon. So it's hard for me to 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 say that the show is too formulaic um, as a complaint because of the way that I chose to digest the show which was in a marathon format when really if if it if the issue is that it's too formulaic I could have probably instead of watching all the episodes back to back to back to back I could have probably watched one episode a day or one episode a week or something like that and probably had a better time with the show than marathoning it because again the problems did and and again you have the granny and yosemite character who are kind of like the school like deans like the school principal and and security guard and whatever they're like the big heads and so like again their characters kind of fall into this role that's like the same every episode um but again it's not that the show is funny. It's got great comedic timing for a lot of things. Sometimes they do have some unexpected stuff. Again, with Granny, like Granny's a wild card, despite her break being like the dean or the principal of the school. She she is Granny, like how Granny's always been, and how, well, not how she's always been, but how kind of how they turn the character for Granny, kind of like in the '90s, where like she's like an old Granny, but she also has like a dark side. You know, where she's like a, a part of a biker gang or whatever they want to do with the character. They kind of have a little bit, little bits of those moments for her in this. Um, but for the most part, uh, they're still falling into those formulaic roles. Um, but yeah, I, I will say that overall, I think that Tiny Toons Luniversity is a good show. Uh, I'm disappointed um, that it is a reboot and not a continuation like how I thought. Because again, going into the show, I thought that, oh, it's a sequel to Tiny Toons and the characters are all now in college. Oh, that's cool. That could be a cool dynamic. But that isn't the case. It's just a complete reboot. Um, Characters are meeting each other for the first time when they've, you know, been with each other for seasons in the original Tiny Toons. So don't go into this expecting Tiny Toons go into this expecting a Tiny Toons style show using the Tiny Toons characters but it's not Tiny Toons so go if you go into it like that and again don't marathon the show because it can get very formulaic pretty quickly um, I think you'll have a good time and so with that being said that's the review what do you guys think about Tiny Toons Luniversity? Let me know. I'm curious what other guys have to think about the show because, again, uh, my opinions are my own, right? So if you guys disagree, 100% okay. I'm curious what you guys have to say. I'm curious what you guys think about it. Leave your comments down below in the comment description. And like always, I will catch you guys in the next video.